Well, welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. As you can see, I'm continuing on with my fence project this year. I made a video last year of how I actually fastened this fence onto a wire fence with steel poles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the basic setup of what I got going on here and how it was attached. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna answer a whole bunch of questions that were posed to me on the original first video and uh, explain the reason why I'm building a fence like this. As you can see, I've started off here so far. What I'm gonna do first though, is I'm gonna show you the nail gun in action and how I like this pretty much the best, especially when you're working by yourself. So let's get to it and I'll show you how good the nail gun actually works for building your own little project like this. Okay, let's get to it. I'm gonna show you me doing two of these. I'll show you at a distance the first time and the second time a little closer up shot. So let's get to her. Okay, let's take a look at a closer up shot. Well, what I'll do now is I'll take you off the tripod and I'll show you how this is all set up and uh, then we'll go in the garage and I'll explain the reason why all this is being done like this. Okay, so I just started off today and you can see it's right at the top here and I've done this piece here. And if you can notice, I do have a string that goes right along the top and it comes all the way over to the post here on a screw and I'll show you how these are all fastened to the uh, to the fence and you could see how that is here now these ones here these ones I made myself and I suggest that you make yourself if you want to put a, a link down below so you can see how to make your own like this they're a lot less expensive but uh, you want to take a look at the store-bought ones that are actually not for this purpose they're actually for pipe if you take a look down there you could see them ones there yeah they're standoffs for pipes and they're quite expensive compared to just making your own like this here and I just use carriage bolts to go through and bolt them on the fence so Let's go in the garage and I'm gonna explain some things to you. Okay, so let's get to the reason why I built this style of fence. It's a wire fence with steel poles concreted in the ground. Of course, you have to check your local bylaws in your area, because that was one question, are you allowed to do this kind of fence? And uh, another question was, well, you should have the boards, the good boards on your neighbor's side. Well, I did talk to my neighbor and I asked him if he wanted a fence in the backyard and we'd put, you know, good neighbor fence, boards on boards. He didn't want nothing to do with putting a fence in his backyard. What I would have liked to have done is just take that fence out, put some 4x4 posts in the ground, and build a proper fence. This is an alternative because he doesn't even go in his backyard, this fellow. He's a terrific guy. He's a good friend of mine. He does not even go in his backyard all summer long, most likely, like most of the time. But he didn't want to. So I told him, I said, look, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put the... Uh, what do you call it, a, uh, a veneer fence. Yes, a veneer fence. And so he said, sure, no problem, it's okay, go ahead. Because I, you know, like I've got a dog, right? So I just can't take down all the fencing. Like some people said, why don't you take the fencing down? 
because the fencing serves no purpose. Well, actually it does for me because I've got a dog and uh, you know, from his side, he doesn't care what it looks like. And, and that's what a lot of people made a comment to is, well, it looks kind of lousy on their neighbor's side there. Well, actually it doesn't look as bad as what you'd think. It looks actually not bad at all. And, uh, but he doesn't mind. And this is the main thing. So I like to get to a couple of things of my tools. Like I like using the, uh, the pneumatic uh, nailer. I find it's the best way. And you just bring your fence board up to the string line. You don't actually touch the string line. You just bring it up to the string line. Now, could you imagine holding it there now and trying to nail? Because nailing is the least expensive. The best option if you're by yourself is screws because you can have your screw gun handy, put it in the right position, and then put a screw in. But I'll tell you what, screws are twice the price of nails. And you know, for the amount of work that I do, that nail gun pays for itself. So, but the string line that goes across from one side to the other, I just put, you take a look here and you can see there's two little tabs here. A lot of people have never tried this before and this is a level. And I just put the string line until it's level and then on the back side I put a screw and tighten the line on so you know where it's fairly level. Now as you go along, you have to make sure your boards are level. You don't want to have them you know, going like this. So I check every once in a while and make sure it's you know, vertical. And I had this for a long time. This is just a three quarter inch, because I like three quarter inch spacing. If you actually take a look, you will see that the spacing is tighter now than what it was last year when I built the first part of the fence, because the boards actually shrink. So all this is, is just a three quarter piece of board. And it's got like a little handle on it here. And I'll show you at the end here, this little piece here. This just fits over top of a, uh, two by four and at the end it's just a clip that's been screwed and a nail and it just sits there for you so you can bring your board over and then put your fasteners in and I thought that was pretty good so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep working on the fence today and I'll show you when it's finished because I have to put that top rail you notice there's a top rail there so what I do is I get a, uh, a five quarter board pressure treated and I rip both the outside edges because they're rounded over and that's what I use as my finishing along the top. So I'll bring you back when I got as much done, well, when I run out of boards in the back of my truck. I'll see you then. Okay guys, it's about uh, three and a half hours later. Looks like it's just getting ready to pour down. I'll take you out in the backyard. I'll show you what I got done. Well, there she is. Does that look a lot better? And uh, it went pretty quick. I was short three boards. I had to go back and get three more boards. And uh, if you take a look down the bottom there, you could see I'm not right to the ground. And I'm gonna put some of that uh, six inch uh, landscape border edging all the way along so the soil's not gonna rot out the boards. And that's pretty well it right there. Now you notice the top lip is all done all the way along. And on the back side, I just used uh, one and a half inch deck screws, you know, from the back side into here. Now, if you didn't do that, all these boards would all be cupping and warping and everything. So, that's pretty good there. And uh, that's it right there. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, what's that green tarp doing there? Well, guys, I'll tell you something. If you take a look in behind here, I'll be nice and quiet now. Okay, right in behind. Yeah, there's a skunk that lives in behind there. And it sprayed my poor dog, Jake. So until I get that finished, I'm going to put something along there. Until I get that finished, well, I'll leave it there so it doesn't get sprayed again. So what I got planned is I'm going to put a flower, not a flower box, a vegetable box, two feet out, eight feet long, and I'm going to tie it right into the fence itself so that this end here gives support. Because you know what? If you get a lot of wind, you know, it may uh, do some damage to the fence. So I'd like to uh, tie it all in. And I think it's gonna work out great because from that end there to over here, I got it tied into this fence and that's a four by four concreted right in the ground. So that's pretty well it right there. Well, it looks like it's just gonna start to rain and I have to put my small little air compressor away. And uh, you guys let me know what you think of it. If you have any questions, leave me a question down below and I'll do the best to uh, answer it. If you haven't seen this channel before, well, you're welcome to subscribe and watch some more me building stuff. These guys take care now, eh? Cheers.